Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to do an oil and filter change on this 2019 Honda HRV. Um, I do have the vehicle jacked up on the one side. You do not need to jack up that one side. I'm just doing this so that we could film it a little clearer for you. So you do not need to take that wheel off. I'm just doing it for the video. All right, let me bring you in. I'm going to show you what kind of tools you're going to need, and then we're going to get started, and we're going to get this job done. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our gloves on because we don't want to get that oil on our hands because, as you know, that oil, one, is messy, and two, it's no good for your skin, and there's, there's lots of other health issues affiliated with that. So make sure you use a good pair of rubber gloves, and uh, that's it. Let's get in there, and uh, I'll show you what tools you're going to need, and we're going to get started. So come on. Okay, we're going to need a bucket such as this to drain our oil into. We're going to need a funnel like this in order to put the oil back into the vehicle so we don't spill it. We're going to need a couple of different um, tools to take off the old oil filter. It's personal preference which one you use. I particularly like this one right here. This seems to work the absolute best. It grips into the filter like this. It grips into the filter on the side just like that and you can take it off fairly easy. But if you don't have that kind, you can use something like this here. It's a cap that goes over the top of the filter, such as this, that you can remove it. And the old style of doing it is with a band style filter wrench, like this. You put it on and you would take it off with that wrench. Personal preference, which one you want to use. Uh, we are going to need an extension like this to get up there because the filter is, is recessed up a little bit up underneath the, uh, the car, so it's a little tough to get up there. We're going to need a, a ratchet, a fairly long ratchet, and a good set of metric sockets to take the oil drain plug out. All right, so before we go underneath the vehicle, I just want to go up on top and show you one more thing. You want to make absolutely sure that you have the correct motor oil. As you can see, this calls for a 0W20. A 020 is a full synthetic motor oil, so make sure you have the correct oil. Uh, personal preference, which one you want to use. I, uh, I, I like to use the mobile one, but in this case I couldn't get it, so we're going to go with the Valvoline oil instead. Get yourself a good quality oil, and the car will last you a long time. All right, I'm going to take this oil drain the oil filler cap off. You don't need to do this. I'm just doing this right now. Take this cap off. We'll put this on the side. And now we're going to go down underneath it. I'll show you where the drain plug is and how to uh, drain the oil. Okay, now looking at it underneath the vehicle, this is the oil drain, the oil pan itself right here. This is the oil drain plug. And as you can see, there's a little gasket on there. You want to be careful when you take this off that you don't lose that gasket or if you're replacing the gasket, depending on what you're doing. All right, the next thing is the blue piece right here is the oil filter, and we're going to be removing that filter as well. All right, I would recommend putting something down on the ground just in case you spill a little bit of oil so you don't make a mess in your garage or your driveway. All right, now we're going to take our, our, our socket and put it on here, and we know it's an 18 millimeter. So we're going to put our 18 millimeter on here. We're going to turn it to the off position. And then we're going to break it loose. All right, now we're going to break it loose. Okay, we're going to break our drain plug loose. We are then going to move our bucket over like this. And then you can come up here, make sure you have a rag. We're going to take this drain plug out. Watch you don't drop that washer. Make sure your bucket is underneath, so we're going to catch all the oil in the bucket. And then we'll take this out nice and slowly. Just like that. And now we'll let that oil drain out. Once it finishes draining out, then we'll come back up underneath here. And we're going to take out this filter right here. Now the one that I told you I like to use the best is this one right here. It goes onto the filter. Just like that. It goes on just like this onto the filter itself. We'll put our extension for our ratchet in there and we'll take that out. All right, well, we're going to let this drain out here first. And once it finishes draining, then we'll come right back. 
Okay, all right, so it's still draining right there. As you can see, we're gonna let that drain, but we're gonna break this filter loose right here. So we have our cap on it like that. We have our extension into it just like this. And now we're gonna just rotate that loose. And you'll see it starts to dig into it. Okay, and once it starts to crack loose a little bit, where you can rotate it by hand, we take this off, just like this. We're gonna pull this over, just like that. We're gonna let the both of them drain at the same time into, the, into this bucket. All right, so we'll let them drain out for a little while now. Take this filter off and we'll let it drain out thoroughly. Be careful, you don't want the filter to fall and make a mess. So we're gonna rotate it nice and easy. And you wanna make sure when you take this filter off that the gasket comes down with it. I'll show you in a second what I mean. You see how that gasket is on top of the filter? I'll show you. That gasket right there. Make sure that that gasket comes down because sometimes that gasket will stick up inside here. And if that's the case, then you would just need to reach up here with your hand, right up here. Let's see where you can see this. You need to reach up here with your hand and take that gasket off. But as you can see, the gasket did come off. All right, so we're gonna let these all drain out. Once they finish draining out, then we'll come back and we'll finish it up. Okay, now, once we have the filter and we're ready to put it back up, we're gonna put a little, bit, a little clean oil on this area right up in here so that we can lubricate this so it has a nice surface to touch up to on the metal part of the engine. Now remember, if you took the old filter down and that gasket didn't come off, it's very important that you reach up there and you take that filter gasket off. If that filter gasket's up there, it's gonna definitely create a mess for you because when you start it, there's gonna be oil everywhere. So make sure you take the old oil filter ring off the engine. All right, so now let's, we're gonna take a little bit of, of clean motor oil, and I normally don't do this, but in this particular case, I'm going to. We're gonna pour a little bit of oil inside the filter, just like this. You don't really have to do this, but in this particular case, I'm gonna do it because this filter goes straight up and it doesn't really make a mess when I put it back up there. All right, now we're going to take some of the clean motor oil and we're going to take it and we're going to put it on the seal just like this. And now let's go underneath the car and put it back on. Okay, now we have our oil drain plug. We're going to put the oil drain plug in. Make sure that your gasket is in good condition. And this one, as you can see, is in perfect condition, but we're going to change it anyway. You just take this gasket off. We'll grab our new gasket and then we're going to put it back on. Now we're going to clean off this area right here with a rag. Just like that. Okay. Let's get up. Let's get our new gasket. We'll come right back. Okay. Here comes our new gasket. Now we're going to take this oil drain plug and we're going to screw it in by hand. As you can see, it finished draining. We're going to screw this drain plug back in here by hand as far as it can go. Let's grab our ratchet. Let's snug that in there. Our drain plug. Now you want to be very careful because you're screwing this drain plug and tightening it up into aluminum and you don't want to take a chance on cracking the aluminum. Uh, so we're just going to snug this down and just go a little bit more. Okay, nice and tight. We're going to take a rag and we're going to wipe, wipe off any residual oil that's underneath there so it's nice and dry. All right, now we're going to come up underneath here and we're going to put our filter back in. Okay, so now we're going to look underneath here. We're going to come up with the rag, and we're going to clean off any of that oil that's up inside there. 
put our new one on, our new filter. So let's clean that out a little bit. Okay, it's nice and clean. We'll take our new filter. And we're going to screw our new filter back in there. residual oil off of the filter itself and tighten it up as tight as you can by hand we're going to wipe any oil off that's on here and that will go up top and we'll finish it off just make sure you clean off all the oil here and we did our oil drain plug already all right let's go up top and uh, let's just finish this off okay so like I explained to you before make sure you use the correct motor oil this calls for 020 full synthetic make sure you use the right oil if you use the wrong oil you could possibly damage the engine so just make sure you have the correct oil we are going to take a funnel and put a funnel in here as much as you think you're going to be able to pour the oil into that little hole right there without making a mess believe me you're going to make a mess put a funnel in there just to play it safe now we looked it up in a manual and it takes this almost takes four quarts of oil or 3.78 uh, liters of oil but we're going to put in about three and three quarters quarts and we're going to add as needed so first thing we're going to do now is we're going to pour it in nice and slowly that funnel out and we will uh, start the vehicle up just to make sure that it's full if you have a rag underneath the bottom of it you don't want to drip oil all over the engine make sure you put your oil cap back on and tighten it okay then we're going to pull our dipstick out just like this and I just want to explain to you where the oil level is supposed to be we wipe the stick off and as you can see this is your oil your oil stick and it should be in this range right up in here you see those cross marks right there it should be right up in that range right there all right so we're going to put it back in here okay we're just going to let it run for a couple of uh, maybe 30 seconds or so just to get that oil circulating and then once the oil circulates through we're going to shove it off we'll go back outside and then we'll check our oil level to make sure it's full and we'll make sure we have no leaks underneath the bottom okay now we're going to take our dipstick out we're going to wipe it down to make sure it's nice and clean and we're going to put it back in let's take it out and we have it's down about just touching on the bottom so we are going to add a little bit more oil to it remember it's always better to add a little bit more than to have it overfilled and have to take it out all right so we're going to put a little more in there now now after we've had it running we can top it off until it's right up to that full mark Okay, we'll just pull the stick out. Let's wipe off whatever oil is on there so we have a nice clean reading. We'll push the stick back in. Let it sit for a second. Make sure it's down all the way. Pull it back out. Let's take a look at it. And as you can see, it's exactly up to the full mark. Alright, we'll put our stick back in. Take our funnel out. Make sure we don't make a mess. Take our cap screw our cap back on let's go down the bottom make sure we have no leaks and this job will be all done okay as you can see it's nice and dry nice and dry on the drain plug right there all right so that's it oil change is all done as you can see it is fairly simple just make sure, look underneath the vehicle, make sure you have no leaks at all underneath there, dry it all off, and you should be good to go. Make sure your oil cap is tight, and that's it, job is done. But before we let this car go, we have to go inside and we have to reset the oil maintenance reminder light. 
Um, frequently when you go to these oil change places or even you go to the dealerships, for some reason they just it just skips their mind to go into uh, to reset the oil life. So let's go inside, let's reset the oil life, and then this job is done and out the door. Okay, and as you can see, there's the oil wrench light right up there, and you can see that the oil life is at 10%. Now the way you, re you reset this one is you come up underneath here to this little button here, the trip reset button here. You turn the key to the on position, the vehicle is not running. You press this button and hold it and watch the dashboard. We're on trip A, remember. We're just going to hold it about 10, 15 seconds. You'll notice the dashboard starts to flash. Take your finger off the button, then reapply it on the button again and hold it. And it resets to 100%. Now when you start the vehicle up, it's reset to 100%, and you can see the oil life, uh, uh, the oil wrench or oil maintenance light is now off. Okay, again, I'm going to show you one more time. We press this button in on here, press it and hold it. And it doesn't matter whether the vehicle is running or the, or the engine is off. It's the same. It'll do the exact same thing. Starts flashing. Take your finger off. Put it back on and hold it. And it resets to 100%. Alright, as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.